the other side. Push this off, being careful not to damage the bearing. And we'll go to the press. Press directly on the shaft to remove the bearing and seal. At this point, Examine this portion of the shaft for any excessive wear or pitting and replace as necessary. You can also examine the bearing, make sure it turns smooth and isn't tight or lumpy. That bearing is included in the hydraulic motor seal repair kit as well. You can examine the seal for any wear or damage or if this lip is pushed out backwards the other way, the hydraulic lines were most likely reversed. To remove the seal from this cartridge, press it out. Now we're ready to reinstall. The first step in reassembly will be to press the new seal into the cartridge. Place the open end of the cartridge up. Place the seal in with the lip facing up. Use that one inch piece of pipe. Being careful not to damage the lips of the seal. And press that right down into it. Now we can reassemble our shaft assembly. Before reassembly, you want to stretch out this new seal by placing it onto the shaft facing this way, being careful not to drag it over the retaining ring groove. After stretching that out, set that aside. The next thing we'll do is reinstall the large retaining ring. Notice there's a sharp side and a rounded side to this. You want to put it on with that sharp side facing up towards the threads. Just push that on. Next, your first thrust washer. Make sure all, all these components are clean of any debris. Thrust bearing. second thrust washer and now you'll want to use this spacer included in the kit for the old style motor with that groove facing down put that on and when putting on the seal you'll want to face the lip of it down towards the bottom of the shaft and be careful not to roll the edge of that lip over. And center it into this spacer. Next, apply a, a small amount of Permatex number two around the edge of the seal, being careful not to get it into the thrust bearings. From here we can install this into the old motor body. Use the other spacer that's included in the parts kit. Place that with the groove facing down. Make sure that your thrust washers are as centered as you can get them. Drop the assembly in and then using a one inch piece of pipe gently press this down until you feel it bottom out. 
Next, put the new bearing on. Press that down. Reinstall the snap ring. Notice the retaining ring groove for the smaller snap ring is inside the bearing. You have to flip this over, press that shaft back down just a little bit until you can see that retaining ring groove on the other side. Put on a little more. Now I can see that retaining ring, ring groove again. Reinstall the small snap ring. Being careful not to damage the bearing. At this point, you want to turn the shaft, make sure it turns nice and free. If it feels bound up or if it's grinding, you may have had one of the thrust washers offset. Remove the assembly, check it, and redo it. If it turns freely, Give a light press until that snap ring touches the bearing. Now we're ready to reassemble the rest of the motor.